President Donald Trump has turned in his budget proposal to Congress. The blueprint being called America First Budget holds true to many of the president's campaign promises. The departments of defense, homeland security, and veterans affairs all get boosts, while the departments of state, agriculture, labor, health and human services, commerce, and education all get slashed. Other spending taking a big hit includes the National Institutes of Health and programs to promote the arts. Trump also wants deep cuts to the EPA, including eliminating $300 million a year for the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. 24-hour News 8 Sarah Hurwitz is finding out what the impact would be. Sarah? Well, the effort to restore and clear the Great Lakes of toxic substances would be on hold, and a number of people would be out of jobs. It's one of five, with waves and a skyline that boasts the power of a sea. But the GVSU Annis Water Resources Institute says Lake Michigan and other Great Lakes need help, which is why there's such a concerted effort to restore them. If in fact they go into effect, uh, they could have severe impacts for the Great Lakes, not just in terms of the environment and restoring uh, the past abuses, but also for our economic growth. You know, improving the use of our water. People don't want to recreate on polluted waters or algal bloom waters. Um, they, want to, they want to recreate, they want to live they want to work in areas where there's high quality of life and that involves the environment. These are the five areas that the $300 million per year goes toward. Things like cleaning up toxic substances, preventing new invasive species like Asian carp, as well as restoring natural habitats for native species. In President Donald Trump's proposal, it said the budget returns the responsibility for funding local environmental efforts to state and local entities, allowing the EPA to focus on the highest national priorities. I I think there is a very important reason why the federal government needs to be uh, partnering with uh, our Great Lakes states. But in a press call today, Senator Debbie Stabenow said it was unlikely the state and local counties would be able to foot the bill for projects like these, an issue that has bipartisan support here in Michigan. It is vital uh, to the ecological health of, uh, of not only Michigan but the surrounding area and, and frankly, I think, for the country. And this budget proposal is a recommendation from the Trump administration. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle and our state have criticized those proposed cuts. Appropriation decisions are made in the U.S. House, meaning that without the support of lawmakers in the Great Lakes region, it would be difficult to defund the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. We will, of course, continue to follow this story. In studio, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.